Today I'm going to be showing you guys how long it's going to take to home charge your car. It depends on how much amps you can send to your car. It also depends on, you know, if you actually have a home charger installed. I'll show you guys the home charger actually. The home charger, I got it installed right here as you can see. Now, AC on blast, man. If you live in Florida, you kn you know about this heat. My car is at 19%. Gonna go ahead and open this up. We are gonna plug this in right here. I sure you guys can hear me. All right, so. Right now, the charge limit is to 79, but we're gonna do, we're gonna go to 100 just for the video, just so you guys can see how long it will actually take. And watch how it changes. So what's pretty cool about this, this is gonna give you guys an idea. It is now, it is now 2.30. So around eight, nine o'clock is when the car will be completely charged at 100. Now, what's cool about it is you can see in here, all right, it's loading right here, as you can see. So we'll give it a second to load. All right, so look, it's at 100 right there six hours and five minutes six hours and five minutes now what's cool about this is obviously you could adjust this from your phone so let's say if we were going to 80 if we were going to 80 which is what they recommend we are looking at five hours and 30 oh look four hours four hours all right so this is just to give you guys an idea of what it's like to charge with a home charger all right and if you are getting this car um highly recommend getting home charging it saves you a lot of money time and all the inconvenience of taking it to a supercharger all the time but we're gonna go to 100 just for the video just so you guys can get a real idea now the idea is to charge this while you are sleeping or charge this like you know when you're at home because you get your eight hours of sleep when you wake up your car is charged so if you really think about it, it's like, you know, charging your phone. You charge your phone when you go to bed, you wake up in the morning, your phone's charged. Same thing with the cars. That's like the idea behind it, the convenience. The light bill went up about 50 to 60. It also depends on the weather, where you live. I'm in Florida, it is hot as hell, as you guys can see. 90, 93 degrees. An hour ago, it was at like 101. So that's basically, how long it'll take for home charging anywhere from five to six hours if you're gonna go all the way to 100 and remember I was at 19 I think yeah 19 when I plugged the car in it, it charges pretty quickly for home charging if you didn't have a wall charger and you were just using like an outlet it would take it would take 24 plus hours to charge your car to 100 so definitely recommend getting the home charger if you can set one up at your house Another cool thing I forgot to mention to you guys is if you go down, you can control the amps, which is the amount of power or like voltage going to your car or amps going to your car, whatever the case is. I'm not an electrician, so I don't even know the, the proper phrase, but you can see that it's now taking longer because it's taking less, less amps is going into the car to charge it. So I thought that was pretty cool. If you want your car to charge slower, just put less amps, but we are going to go to 48. Depending on the car, like if the you had the standard range, it would be less than 48, which will take a little bit longer to charge, but I do know I have the long range, so my car can charge up to 48 amps, which is a lot faster than the standard range. So um, it's gonna take like a little bit of a while for it to go all the way back down to like six hours what it was before, but I just thought it, this was pretty cool if you wanted your car to take longer to charge. 
Hopefully it gives you guys an insight on what it's like to home charge and how long it takes. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Yeah. <laughs>